Hey, how's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to kill brutal black dragons, but before I start this video, if you're looking for some more slayer guides, please check out the description box below for a full list of all the guides I've posted thus far. Enjoy the rest of the video. So using one of my slayer guides is very simple. All you need to do is select the armor that you want to wear depending on the attack style that you want to use, and then just pick the location for where you want to kill the monster. So you can pause the video now to write down the timestamps, and then you can skip around the video to watch the parts that you want to watch. So let's just go over some quick information about Brutal Black Dragons. They have a combat level of 318, they have a max hit of 29 with melee and magic, and the Dragonfire Breath can hit up to 50 damage. However, if you stand a few squares away and out of melee distance of the Brutal Black Dragons, it is possible to take no damage whatsoever with the correct prayers and potions active. Furthermore, these monsters are aggressive, they are not poisonous, and in order to do damage to these monsters, you must have level 77 Slayer in order to kill them, and looking at their stats, these monsters are very strong, and the only way to kill them is using range, which I'll cover later in my armor section of this guide. So here are just some recommendations before jumping into this tutorial. The Rune Pouch is a great item to bring here because it has the ability to hold any 3 types of runes, and it can hold up to 16,000 of each. This is a great item for saving inventory space, and you can fill the pouch with your high alchemy runes, or even store some of the rune drops that you get from this monster into the pouch. You can purchase it from the Slayer Store for 1250 Slayer Points, or you can buy it from the Bounty Hunter store for 1.2 million points. That's equivalent to 24 Tier 1 Mysterious Emblems, which you can buy from the Grand Exchange. Also, having a high construction level can come in handy, because there are many things you can build in your player-owned house that will help to speed up the amount of time it takes to get yourself set up. I've listed some very useful things that you can build in your player-owned house, and I've also posted their level requirements beside them if you're interested in making them. So now we will go over the armor setups, and feel free to use the timestamps on the screen now to choose your preferred armor setup. So let's go over a ranging setup, and on this chart here, I've listed the best items that you can wear from the left to the right. All of the items highlighted in green are the items that I would recommend that you try to focus on, because they provide very good bonuses for killing this monster. So using the chart that I made, I created a couple of different setups that you guys can use as a reference for when you create your own setup. And like I said before, these are just templates, don't be afraid to alter it to your own liking. Now that we've talked about armor setups, we will go through each of the different locations, what you should bring in your inventory depending on the attack style you've chosen, and I'll also provide you an example kill for this monster. So let's cover the Catacombs of Karen location, and like I said before, you can safe spot these monsters as long as you have the correct prayers and potions active, and also, you are not allowed to use a cannon inside the catacombs. The fastest way to get here is by using a Xerix Talisman and then teleporting yourself to the Inferno, and then running east to the hole. Also, if this is your first time using this entrance and you do not see the hole, it means that you have not unlocked it yet, and to unlock it, you will need to go to the center of the Kingdom of Great Karen and climb down the main entrance into the catacombs, and once you're down there, you will need to navigate through the catacombs until you find the vine escapes, and once you climb up the vine, the hole will be permanently unlocked and visible on the surface for you to use. And if you're interested in learning how to navigate through the catacombs, I've made a guide on how to do this which I will link in the description box below. The next fastest way to get here is by using the main entrance, and you can do this by using the Koran Teleport spell at level 69 magic, and after you have read the Transportation Incantations book. I made a guide on how to get this book, so I'll link that guide in the description box below. Another option that you have is by using a Koran portal inside a player owned house. If you go to world 330 at the Remington house portal, you'll see lots of hosts who have their houses open. Just go inside their house and use their Koran portal, and this portal will bring you straight to the Kingdom of Great Korend. And just taking a look inside the dungeon, you can see where the Brutal Black Dragons room is located. If you use the entrance near Xerix Inferno, the Brutal Black Dragons will be right at the entrance. If you use the main entrance of the Kingdom of Great Karend, you can take the path shown here to get into the Brutal Black Dragons room. So here's the inventory setup for each attack style, you can copy it completely or you can change it to how you like. Same with the quick prayer settings, here would be what I would choose but if you want to change them, feel free to do so. So here would be an example of how I would kill Brutal Black Dragons in the Catacombs of Karend. When I get to the Inferno, I run directly east to get to the hole. Before climbing down, I like to drink a dose of my extended anti-fire potion and then turn on my quick prayers 
And the general courtesy when you come down to the hole is that if three of the dragons are occupied by other players, you can go ahead, turn off your auto retaliate and go behind the rope to hop worlds. Once you do find an emptier world, you can go ahead and activate your quick prayers, you can drink your stat boosting potions, and then you can run into the middle of the room to get one of the dragons aggressive onto you. But just make sure that you're standing a few squares away so they can't use its melee attack onto you. Make sure your auto retaliate is on, and make sure that whatever weapon you are using, you are using the rapid attack setting, and then just wait for the dragon to die. Once your inventory is full, you can teleport to your house to recharge your stats like what I am doing here. I'm using my rejuvenation pool to recharge them, but if you don't have that, you can always use someone else's rejuvenation pool in world 330. You can also use the clan wars portal to recharge your stats, or you can also use your altar inside your house, and then just eat some cheap food to heal your health all the way back up. Then you can just go ahead and deposit all of the loot like what I'm doing here, and then you can just set up your inventory like you did before, and then bring yourself back to the brutal black dragons location, whichever way you got there previously. Anyways guys, I'm going to wrap up the tutorial here. If this video has helped you out, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could leave a like on this video. Also, make sure to check out my entire catalog of Slayer guides in the description box below. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.